Hey everybody, welcome back to Luxinda's Paper and Other Obsessions. I, I don't really obsess about rocks all that much, but this was a kit I found at Walmart right before Christmas time. They had a big sale on them. In fact, I think, I think I have a clip of video that I took at the store showing all the different kits they had with this one. I got a bunch of them. We'll be checking those out in future videos. But this one, in spite of how easy the concept of painting rocks is, I don't think I've ever actually done it before. My father did. He had a few rocks out in his garden that he painted that were really pretty. So anyway, this caught my eye, three in one rock art. So I thought, oh, that's kind of interesting. I wonder what, what that means. And then when I looked a little more closely, I realized it means you get, I mean, the, the rocks are all the same, obviously, but they're different, you know, styles of painting them. That's like not really a kit thing. That's just a suggestion theme thing, but whatever. We get premium rocks, three pounds of premium rocks. So let's open this up and see what that means. I admit to being very curious about this. What would appear our premium rocks are in this box and the whole thing was sort of upside down. So you can paint it, you can swirl it, and you can rock it. Those are our three art styles, apparently. Seems to me you can do whatever you want with them. But you know, I appreciate the fact that they've given us some ideas. Okay, we get some cheapo paints, a single paintbrush. Oh, um, they show you how to mix colors. That's appreciated. By using your brush and rocks provided, enjoy painting different styles with 10. 10 different colors. Wow, you made super rock creations. I love it, I love it. Uh, use the color mixing guide to create vibrant colors. Start by mixing two colors together and see what happens. Then get creative and add a third color. Oh, combine the colors in small amounts until your desired hue is achieved. Okay, before you begin, you will need to gather a few supplies from home. Paper towels and a cup of water to rinse your paintbrush. Prepare a safe place for creating your artwork. Remember, paint can stain fabrics and furniture. Wear old clothes. Well, that's, that's pretty much all I wear anymore. And use paper towels or newspaper to cover your work surface set up all your supplies so everything is right at your fingertips and be sure to keep the packaging close to you for design ideas. Make sure that's right there in case I run out of ideas. Paint should be tightly closed when not in use. All right, I, I think we can handle this. Let's look at our rocks. Uh-huh. Okay, I have to admit that I thought premium would at least meant they'd been washed. But I don't think they have. Yeah, these are filthy. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. Okay, so first thing, I'm going to go wash these rocks. Okay, managed to wash off our premium rocks. Now they're, they're actually pretty nice looking. Uh, they were beautiful when they were wet, of course. So I may just varnish one or two of them to bring out their natural beauty and not cover them up with paint. I have to be honest with you, I've already tried to open one of these little pots and I can't, I can't. It's, my fingers are too big and old and just not working. Maybe a six-year-old would have better luck, but I'm gonna put these aside and we're gonna use, we're gonna use a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's not in the, the spirit of using only what's in the kit to test the kit, but I'll be honest with you. Go outside, get some rocks, grab your paints, grab your stickles, grab your markers, grab some brushes at Walmart. Let's just start by painting a rock.
That's a yellow boob with things radiating out of it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to call it here. I'm going to let everything dry. I'll bring you back for, you know, the the big reveal. <laughs> If we had nice garden sort of weather, I'd take you out there and show you the rocks in situ, but I'm I'm not going to do that probably. But we'll look at them when they're dry. We'll see. We'll see what we see. This was fun. I will say that. This was fun. Silly, but a lot of fun.